Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today I'm going to be doing something um, a little special actually and that is involving my custom solar system as we see here. So this is the system I use in all of my videos um, and stuff like that and it has been a very long time since I've done an update video on it and just showing um, all of the changes I've made to it because yeah since this new Surface Grids update has came out I've made a lot of changes to this so that's what I'm going to be going over today. So yeah welcome to my enhanced version because this is the one with the stronger colours, um, things like that, the less realistic version version as I do actually have two of these now I've got the realistic and I've got the enhanced version and I've got the version from the older um, version of the game as well but yeah that's completely irrelevant um, at this point so yeah, without further ado I'm just going to get straight into um, all of the changes in customization compared to the regular solar system simulation that I have got in my custom enhanced version here so yeah let's get straight into this so first off starting with the sun itself I've given it a slight interface colour change. I've made it a little more orange than normal, as we see here. That's the normal sort of orange it has, um, or the very like brownish orange. But yeah, I've given it a lot nice lighter um, orange, which you can see in its trail there. So if I just quickly go ahead and turn off the glows. So yeah, there we go. You can see it's got a, a nicer looking orange trail um, to it, just to stand out a little more. So yeah, that is the sun. That's the only change I've made to it, because there's not really too much you can do to it. I'm not going to give it like a custom colour or anything. I think it's fine the way it is. So yeah, there we go. That is the sun. Now moving on to Mercury, the um, first of ones with custom textures. So yeah, here it is here. So this is Mercury. And actually, um, scratch that, I think this is actually just a tinted Mercury, which was modded in the game before the Surface Grids came out. So yeah, this guy, it may say default, but it has been modified in the game already. So this is the regular Mercury texture, I believe. But it's got a lot more greyish tint to it, which makes it look a little more like the real deal, actually. So I guess you could say this one... Although um, this is the enhanced version, it's actually more of a realistic Mercury than the um, normal one. I guess you could say the normal Mercury is actually sort of the enhanced coloured one, I guess. But yeah, putting that aside, this is the custom Mercury which I have decided to use um, for my simulation um, for the enhanced objects. So yeah, here it is here. Um, I've also um, given it a slight interface colour change. It's got a bit of like a brownish grey there. You can't really see um, it much, but it is there. Um, if you look very carefully, you can see like... It's very hard to spot, but you can sort of see there's like a brownish sort of grey. Um, very hard to see. It is there. Um, now moving on to Venus. This one, um, you guys have probably seen if you've seen any of my recent videos with the tidy lock Venus. I know some of the guys in the comments actually mentioned about um, some of the trails in the simulation look a little different. So yeah, I'm going to be going over all that today. But yeah, here is Venus. So um, yeah. It's got its custom atmosphere colour, which I don't think can be replicated in-game. So if I go to the atmosphere, yeah, that yeah, that's a colour that's not even like programmed into the game that you can select i think so this is all um made in the files and yeah to get an atmosphere like this i think it still has to be done in the files unfortunately um which kind of sucks i don't even know the hex code um for making this atmosphere either so yeah apologies for anyone who wants it but yes yeah, yeah and you can still make versions similar to this just without the reflective bit at the front here um and the reason i've done that is to because um venus is um one of the lightest objects in the night sky other than the moon so yeah i've given it a very reflective look to it to uh, sort of um show that off a bit more so yeah yeah, there we go there the trail color has also got a um a color very similar to the atmosphere as well so slightly different than the regular um venus there now we're moving on to earth a very messy looking world at the moment due to bugs in the game so yeah whenever you open a simulation with earth you always get weird looking stuff like this so yeah apologies for earth looking very silly but yeah the only thing i've changed with earth anyway is its trail color i've given it this nice blue um, slightly more amplified version of the normal color it has there so i think i, I really like the way earth looks right there now moving on to mars this one's got a lot more of an orange reddish color than its normal version so if we can compare it to mars you can see already compared to the regular mars it's a lot more orangey red and obviously mars is known as a red planet so i've given it a lot more of a reddish look to it um which i think looks pretty cool and obviously it's already got its dusty red i guess dusty brownish looking um, atmosphere to match the surface as well which i think um, looks really really cool as well there so yeah, there is the um, upgrades for Mars. So they're still using the original good old texture there. Really good texture, um, I have to say. Now moving on to the asteroid belt. All of these guys, I've given them very, very faint grey trails. Um, so obviously I don't want them to stand out. They're not um, any of the planets or anything. Ceres as well. This one's got a very, very slightly different. It's got like a more of a grey-blue sort of colour to it. It's very hard to notice. If I just put orbits on, you can see it a little easier. But yeah, Ceres is the only asteroid in the asteroid, or not asteroid, the only dwarf planet um, in this area. Um, after all, pretty much. 
um, that has this custom trail. Actually, no, never mind. It's, there is, I think there was another one that's a Dwarf Planet MLB. Um, um, Ciri's still as the largest object in here. It's the only one I've given a custom trail to, but it's barely noticeable when you're on the trails mode um, anyway there. So yeah, there is that. And also all the other objects, I've just given them very, very faint trails. As they're more minor objects, they, they haven't got a massive colour presence um, in this simulation. So there are those guys. Now moving on to Jupiter over here. So let's go ahead and select Jupiter. So now moving on to this guy. You can see I've slightly increased its colour as well over the regular Jupiter. It's slightly brightened up um, to the regular one. So if we compare it to Jupiter, you can see it's, there's not too much difference, but I've given it a slight tweak. So we just go on orbits. Yeah, so it's a slight tweak, a little brighter than the regular version there as well. And also this Jupiter is rolling with the um, the custom Mega Jupiter created by Mad Planet Guy as well. I think the bands on it are slightly off. That does need an update, but yeah. Um, nonetheless, it's still a very, very cool creation um, right here. I think I've got the replacement object for it, actually. I'm not sure. I think it's this one, um, which I'd need to insert. Yeah, there we go. So that's, the, that's how it should look. But yeah, the update messed its bands up a little bit. But I believe this is how it should look. Um, so yeah, there we go there. But yeah, nonetheless, other than the texture aside, it has got a slightly increased um, color on its um, trail as well. Um, so yeah, there we go there. That is Jupiter. Now moving on to Saturn. This one is still using the default texture as honestly a custom Saturn I don't really think is really required. I really think the Saturn in game is probably the most um, or the best looking out of all of the gas giants in, in the game. So yeah, Saturn's had no changes on it. Um, and the only change that, yeah, I've made to this is it's got a yellowish interface color. So yeah, there we go. So it's slightly different to Jupiter. It's got a more of a light yellow, sandy yellow sort of um, color shade um, to it there. So yeah, there we go. That is Saturn. Now moving on to those um, the two objects in between like the Saturn Uranus area. So we've got Chiron over here and then we've got the Charico one. And these ones I've given just very, very dark greens just to show um, they're not part of the asteroid belt and they're not part of the Kuiper belt. They're just like two sort of rogue asteroid guys just hovering around. So I've given those two a unique sort of color. Only those two um, have that one. So now moving on to Uranus. So this one is the like the um, very special Uranus here. It's only got like um, one color on it, so it does actually look really really awesome. So if we just turn it all off there, yeah, you can you can literally not notice that there's any other colors. It's practically all just it's a couple of bands as we can see, but I believe these are all the same shade. So yeah, it's completely unnoticeable that there's any bands in there. It just looks like the whole object is one band. So yeah, pretty um, pretty cool thing there. And yeah, I really, really like this. This is one of my favourite custom objects. As it's way more better looking than the regular version of the game. But it is slightly enhanced. The um, bluish um, colour you see on it is a lot brighter um, than it needs to be. Or a lot more vibrant than it should be. But yeah, I, I just like um, this object to have a little more colour to it. But yeah, I do have versions where it is more realistic as well. Which I'll be getting onto in another video. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is Uranus. Definitely one of my favourites in here. And now moving on to Neptune. I'm sure um, a lot of people have seen this one before. But which is the ultra enhanced blue Neptune as we can see here. So yeah, very, very blue. Very, very unrealistic. But my god, I love it. So yeah, here it is. We'll go on um, Studio just to get a good look of it. But damn, I love the blue on it. It's all got a few different mixes of colours in there. We can see there's a few lighter shades in there as well. But yeah, overall a great looking object I have to say. Just look at it absolutely beauty if you ask me but um, yeah there it is there also it has a ultra ultra blue trail on it as well to go with it so yeah there we go that is neptune so now moving on to pluto as you can see and this is actually what one of you guys spotted in the um, video the other day that pluto now has a um a light purple trail so yeah this is now in the dwarf planet kuiper belt area so yeah i've given pluto a light sort of um purplish pink color there a magenta almost so yeah i've given pluto that and i've i just um gave it that because i've a lot of diagrams and stuff i've seen have always put pluto as like a purplish color so i thought i'd um, follow those for the realistic sort of solar system and go with like a lighter um shade for pluto and then all of the other kuiper belt objects practically i've given, given them a lot darker purple so sort of like what i've done with the asteroid belt that all of the uh, less significant objects i've given a slightly darker tone to so they stand out less so yeah as we can see here her mayor make make obviously pluto is probably the, like the most known main guy in the um kuiper belt i've also given iris it's white trail that's had that for quite a long time as well so you've probably seen that as well but yeah, it's mainly pluto and the other kuiper belt objects they've all got a per a shade of purple now um which i think is um quite nice i think it looks really good um you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below as well because yeah for this um enhanced version i really really like um what i've got going here with the uh, kuiper belt objects so yeah, there are all of those guys. Yeah, we've got Iris in white, as it's a very reflective object um, right there. 
And now moving on to um, the next object, so we've got Far Out over here. See, I made this back when this object like was first like announced um, and stuff like that. So yeah, I had I think it was yeah w when this object was very first announced in like the Universe Sandbox stuff. I immediately made a video um, creating it. I gave it a custom trail color. Um, obviously, I created it to make it look like the concept art there. So it's like, a very pinkish looking object um, right here. And yeah, this one has always had its um, pink trail as well. So quite a unique one for that. Now, um, yeah, moving on to Sedna, a very, very old custom um, at this point. Now, this one, I actually, it got a red trail color. Um, yeah, before this update came out, I've had this red for a very long time. And I didn't mod it in or anything. All I did was simply made Sedna a star in a separate simulation. So it got the red trail. I saved it, made it a planet again, or made it um, a dwarf planet again. And then it kept the red trail. So, yeah, that that's very old. That's never been modded. It's always had that red trail just by um, in-game um, tactics. So yeah, there we go. There is Sedna. Now moving on to Planet Nine. This one, as we know, also a very, very old object on the channel. I've had this guy for a very long time now. Um, and yeah, it was a uh, random spawn. This one is not modified in any way. This was literally just spawned in the game. And I saved it and I kept it for a long time. But yeah, the only um, custom sort of trail it or the thing it does have is the uh, trail here, which I've given a slight pale blue to. And yeah, the colours of Planet Nine are here as well. So if you guys want to sort of replicate it and get your own one, um, you can just need to sort of follow these colours on the bands. But they're all very, very similar. And it only has four bands, um, actually. So that's um, quite a cool um, one there. But yeah, Planet Nine. There we go. That's one of my um, good old favourites as well. That I, I've never wanted to mod it or anything, really. It's just fine the way it is, if you ask me. And yeah, I, don't, I, I just love it. I just think it looks really good the way it is, um, the way the game spawned it in loads and loads of updates ago. And lastly, now we're moving on to the goblin out here. So this is one discovered before at Far Out, which I also created um, in the game to sort of follow the concept art with its like yellow, like bluish sort of look with like a white primary colour um, with a yellow trail as well. This one I remember I modded in, um, I believe. Um, I can't remember if it was me who actually did it or not, but I know I definitely got it modded um, which was and gave it this yellow trail here. Yeah, this this was done way before the update came out where you could change the interface color. But yeah, there we go. So that is my goblin. But yeah, now moving back to the um, whole system now, I've got all the orbit modes on and you can get a good look at all of the objects. So yeah, that is it for my enhanced solar system tour. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this um, down below in the comments. Do you like it? Do you think there's any improvements I could make? Because yeah, I'm open to feedback if anyone thinks um, any of the objects would look different. Let me know your thoughts. But remember, this is the enhanced version, so I'm not going for realism on all of the objects here i know some like um mercury for instance they're aimed to be a little more realistic but overall for the whole system um, i'm sure most of us can agree this is not supposed to be realistic i mean especially with the uranus and neptune with their ultra enhanced colors obviously especially neptune i mean that blue is just ridiculous but damn i love it um so yeah there we go there but yeah let me know your thoughts on this um custom solar system down below and yeah um i'll also definitely get a video up about my realistic version as well i, do, I still need to make a few tweaks to it actually before i do a video on it so um yeah that's why i'm not going to do it in this video um so yeah so still um a few updates i need to make to it but yeah with that all out of the way guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah enjoyed my um custom enhanced solar system tour so yeah like i said let me know any feedback you have got and just any suggestions and and yeah just let me know what you think in general but yeah there we go so that is everything for today's video guys let's see if we can go for 40 likes for the um enhanced custom solar system and yeah that is everything so make sure you have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next video goodbye